Hello and welcome. As you all know, Provident Fund PF in short is a saving scheme for employees where employees usually contribute 12% of their salary and this contribution can be availed as deduction under section 80C of the Income Tax Act. Then the employer also makes a matching contribution and employer's contribution up to 12% of salary is also exempt from tax. Whatever interest that you earn is also usually exempt. This video is not about the tax treatment of PF contributions and interest because I already have a separate video on it. If you would like to know more about it, you may consider watching the video. The link is in the top right corner. But in today's video, let's understand how to account PF transactions in tally, be it tally ERP9 or tally prime. The process is more or less going to be same. We are going to see the complete process starting from creation of payroll voucher to generation of ECR that is electronic chalan come return which you are required to upload once in a month on the EPFO portal. But before that let's quickly understand the breakup of PF contribution. We know that the employee as well as the employer contribute to the PF account. Employees contribute 12% of salary and this 12% would be 10% for selected organizations like where the number of employees are less than 20 or in case of loss making organizations or for organization in selective industry etc. But for others this is going to be 12% and salary here is basic plus DNS allowance. Now against this 12% contribution, the employer also makes a matching contribution and this is split into two different accounts. First EPF at 3.67% but if 10% PF rate is applicable then this is going to get reduced to 1.67%. 12% contribution from the employee plus 3.67% contribution from the employer would be credited to the account number one. Then employer makes contribution to the pension fund that is EPS at 8.33% and this is credited to the account number 10. 3.67% and 8.33% together make up for 12%. In addition to this, the employer also makes other contributions like contribution to EDLI at 0.5% subject to a maximum of 75 rupees per employee and this is credited to the account number 21. EDLI is employees deposit linked insurance. It is basically an insurance cover and in case of death of the employee, the nominee gets a lump sum up to 7 lakh. Plus employer also pays PF admin charges at 0.5% subject to a minimum of 500 rupees per month and this is credited to the account number 2. If you observe here, the employee's contribution is going to remain at 12% but the employer is required to make additional 1% contribution. So total contribution of the employer is going to be 13%. To have a better understanding of this, let's consider a simple example. Let's say your basic salary per month is 50k, HRA 25k, special allowance 30k. Your deductions would be professional tax 200 rupees and EPF contributions at 12% of basic. For ease of understanding, I have not considered TDS as a deduction. Let's now compute total PF contribution. First, employee's contribution, that is your contribution at 12% of basic salary. So 12% of 50K would be 6K. Then employer's contribution, EPS at 8.33%. Here, maximum salary is limited to 15k that is 15k. So, 8.33% of 15k would be 1250 and the difference between these two would be credited to the account number 1 which is 4750 here. Then EDLI contribution at 0.5% of basic salary would be 250 rupees but here maximum is 75. So, this is going to be 75 here. Then PF admin charges at 0.5% of basic salary would be 250 but minimum here is 500. So PF admin charges that is going to be applicable here is 500. 
So total PF contribution would be 12,575. In this video, we are going to see how to create these transactions in Tally. And once we create these vouchers, we are going to view the summary and also see how to generate ECR. This is a five step process. First, we are going to create the payroll voucher, then autofill employer's PF contribution. If you observe here, I have used the word create payroll voucher instead of autofill. That is because in tally, we have to manually create attendance vouchers. Then third step, PF other charges. Here basically we are going to account PF admin charges and EDLI contribution. Once these vouchers are created, we are going to view the summary of these transactions and in the end we are going to see how to generate ECR. From gateway of tally, click vouchers, date, enter voucher date, here I have entered 31st Jan 2023, click other vouchers. Select payroll, click autofill, select payroll autofill. In the field process for select salary, compute income tax based on here I have selected declared value. Enter from and to here the payroll is being processed for Jan 2023. If it is beginning and end of the month, then you can leave it blank. Select employee or group. Here I have selected all items. Select the sorting method. Here it is employee name. Select the payroll ledger. Here it is salary payable. Once you do that, the payroll voucher is automatically filled. Here is the information related to earnings and deductions except PF contribution. And this is towards PF contribution. Let's now see how exactly is this account configured in tally. Pay hit type is employees statutory deductions. Statutory pay type is PF account number one. This is grouped under current liabilities. You may group it under any other appropriate head if you wish to. Affect net salary is set to yes. Enter the name to be displayed on the pay slip. In the compute field, select on specified formula. In the field add pay head, select basic. Select end of list, enter effective date, here it is 1st Jan 2023, enter the percentage of PF contribution, here it is 12%. If you are liable to contribute at 10%, then you may enter 10%, here I have entered 12%. Let's now go back to the voucher creation screen to accept the voucher, but before that you need to remember two things. One is Ensure that you update PF related information for a particular employee that is UAN that is universal account number, PF account number of the employer, date of joining etc. Second thing is ensure that you update salary details to include PF related transactions. If you would like to know how to do these configurations you may consider watching my earlier video. Let's now go back to the voucher creation screen and accept this transaction. From the same voucher creation screen, click autofill, select payroll autofill. In the field process for, select PF contribution. Enter from to, select employee or group, sort by. Then select the payroll ledger, here it is PF payable. Let's first see how is this account configured. Pay hit type here is not applicable and this is grouped under current liabilities. Let's go back to the voucher creation screen and select this payroll ledger. Once you do that, employer's contribution is automatically filled. Here we have two accounts, EPF at 3.67% and EPS at 8.33%. Let's now see how is this EPS account configured in tally. Payhead type is employers statutory contributions. Pay type is EPS account number 10. This is grouped under indirect expenses. You may group it under any other appropriate head if you wish to. Affect net salary is set to no. In the compute field, select on specified formula. In the field add pay head, select basic, select end of list. 
enter effective date in the field amount up to enter 15,000 and set percentage as 8.33 in the field amount greater than enter 15,000 and set value to 1,250. Let's go back to the voucher creation screen and see how is this EPF account configured. Payhead type is employers statutory contributions. Pay type is PF account number one. This is grouped under indirect expenses. Affect net salary is set to no. In the field compute, select on specified formula. In the field add pay head, select EPF at 12%. In the field subtract pay head, select EPS at 8.33%. Enter the effective date. Percentage would be 100. Let's go back to the voucher creation screen to accept this transaction. Let's now move to the third step. From the voucher creation screen, click journal, autofill, select PF other charges, enter from to select employee or group and in the expense ledger field select PF other charges. In the field admin charges select PF admin charges at 0.5%. In the field EDLI contribution select EDLI at 0.5%. EDLI admin charge not applicable. The voucher is automatically filled. Let's now see the configuration of PF admin charges. Here the pay head type is employers other charges. Pay type is admin charges account number 2. This is grouped under current liabilities. Affect net salary is set to no. Enter the effective date and in the percentage field enter 0.5. Let's now see the configuration of EDLI account. Here, pay head type is employers other charges. Pay type is EDLI contribution account number 21. This is grouped under current liabilities. Affect net salary is set to no. Enter the effective date. Percentage is 0.5. If you may recall, EDLI contribution is limited to 0.5% of salary subject to a maximum of 75 rupees per employee. But I couldn't find any option to restrict this contribution to a maximum of 75 rupees. So if this is not properly computed, you may have to manually correct this. But for ease of understanding, let's leave it at 250 rupees and accept this transaction. From gateway of tally, select display more reports, statutory reports, payroll reports, summary, and here is the summary of the transactions that we have just created. Click F5 to have a detailed view. Here is the detailed view of the transactions that we have just created. From this screen, select Provident Fund, each alarm come return. Click Send. Once you do that, the text file would be generated in the path that you have selected. You need to upload this text file on the EPFO portal, generate Chalan and then make the payment. This is all I have for you today. Hope the video was informative. Thank you for watching.